Be joyful from where the sun rises and where it sets, from where the gentle wind breezes in and exits, a church gathers. Here and now, united and uniting, covenanting anew, declaring her common faith and message. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, our Lord and Savior. Be joyful. The church marches on. Journeys. 71 years today, 75 years thereafter. with this throng. Christ's love, like tall trees, have shielded you here from storms through the years, did not cost you a tear. The peaceful churchyard with slabs weather-worn, recalling to some the cross you have borne. 71-year-old UCCP, in your ministry, so staunch and so true, we know God's blessings have always rested upon you. Good morning! Maganda umaga sa inyo lahat. Mayong buntag ka ninyo tanan. Ipagpalman ninyo, hindi ko alam yung sa Ilocano. Today is a great and blessed and glorious day that the Lord has given us. This indeed is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So let us take this time to come together in fellowship. Let us remember what the Lord has done for the United Church of Christ in the Philippines on its 71st year. Let us continue to have this day, a blessed day of fellowship from the north to the south and from the east to the west. Let us all come together and worship the Lord our God. Welcome to Union Theological Seminary. Welcome home. This is your home. I am grateful that you have chosen UTS to be the place for this historic gathering. The 71st anniversary celebration of our beloved UCCP. Again, Welcome to UTS. Welcome to your seminary. Mabuhay ang UCCP. Eliasar S. Fernandez, President ng UTS. Thank you. Mabuhay ang UCCP. Sa diwang ito, taus puso at masayang tinatanggap po namin kayo ang lahat kaisa 
sa diwa ng pagdiriwang na ito dito po sa ating ika-71 taong pagkakatatag ng pinakamamahal natin, United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Welcome sa UTS! Welcome sa UCC! Maligaya ang pagdating po sa inyong lahat at nawa ang samasama nating pagsamba ngayong umaga ay magbibigay ng mataas na karangalan sa Panginoon at sa pagpapatuloy ng katatagan ng ating pagkakaisa. We reaffirm our loyalty and fidelity to our Lord. We thank God for leading us and making us faithful to the mission and the ministry of Christ in Christ. 71 years ago, our forefathers of the faith declared in establishing our church, saying, We believe in one, in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, our Lord and Savior. Today, 71 years after, it is still our declaration. But let us add something to it. That in unity, we will pursue the prayer of Jesus Christ, saying that we may all be one. With those challenges, let me welcome you and let us celebrate together 71 meaningful and fruitful years in the ministry of our beloved United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Happy anniversary to all of us. Mabuhay ang UCCP! Mabuhay ang UCCP! Let's celebrate God's faithfulness to us. Mabuhay ang UCCP! May our Lord God continue to bless UCCP. Mabuhay ang United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Mabuhay ang UCCP. Salamat pagi. Ang sagot. Pagsulpot ng panibagong mananako pag nagbukas din ng pinto para sa mga misyonerong Amerikano. Ha? Ang naturang dokumento ay naging basihan ng tatlong mga simbahan upang mabuo ang United Evangelical Church. Ito ay may tuturing na kauna-unang simbahang protestante na sumaklaw sa buong bansa. Sa Ellenwood Malaki Church, sila ay nagkaisa sa pagpapalaganap at nagsipirma sa deklarasyon ng union ang mahigpit na pagkakaisin ng ng anak ng United Church of Christ in the Philippines! Ang UCCP ay nagpatuloy sa pagpapalawag ng anak ng maraming simbahan nagpatuloy sa pagpapalakas ng mga programa He would be enthusiastic energy he is known for his passion in whatever he does. R is for resourceful and relevant. And one of the product, of course, is our very own Shalom Center, uh, without which our programs would not have been funded for so long. M would stand for mission and ministry. It will not be long if you get to know him that you will hear from him about Miseo Dei, that our mission is a mission entrusted to us by God. He would be engaged ecumenics. He has led in uh, ecumenical organizations within the Philippines, but also his influence has reached to the region of Asia as well as to the globe. Brothers and sisters, may I present to you the General Secretary, a model, a mentor, our very own Bishop and Dr. Ermi R. Kamba. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thank you. General Secretary Bishop Bimboy for inviting me to deliver this message in this grand celebration of the 71st anniversary of our beloved United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Hundreds and thousands of such beautiful stories are in your local churches and conferences. They need to be written 
for the sake of the generations who follow us. Let us look back and find God's faithfulness in the United Church despite our continuing quarrels and division. I suggest that all local churches write their own history now before our grandparents in the faith join the Lord. If we do not do this now, we will lose the memory of those days and our children will not have the privilege of knowing that the Loras and Loras were instrumental in changing the religious landscape of the Philippines. The United Church leadership also has to learn painfully the importance of sound management. A failure in judgment and making investment demoralized the members and greatly affected the campaign for the first self-reliance fund. But the church did not give up. This challenge for survival sustained us. Now we can take pride in the fact that we have become a self-determining, self-propagating, and self-reliant church. Thank God. Our challenge is to set up an educational program which provides excellent biblical, theological, and ethical guidance for the laity to enable them to do their mission in their own sphere of influence in the contemporary socio, cultural, economic, and political situation. The church must be able to train, lay, and ordain theologians for this difficult task. As we move forward, let us acknowledge what God has done through all this past 71 years. As God has guided our forefathers, pioneers of the Protestant Christianity in these islands, I have a strong faith that God will continue to guide us to face our continuing challenges in our 72nd year towards our diamond jubilee. So be it. Amen. Amen.